Hi everybody, I'm Marie Ann Maringolo and I want to thank you for tuning in and watching the concert. Um, we had so much fun recording this last year performing at the church and I want to thank Ray for showing this concert again. So I want to wish you all a beautiful holiday, Merry Christmas, um, Happy New Year. I know it's been a rough year for a lot of us but uh, we're getting through it and um, Christmas music just makes us all feel better. So I hope you can enjoy the concert. And um, we're coming back next year in 2021. Uh, Ray and I are gonna figure out a date to uh, come to you live again. So thank you so much. Blessings to all of you. Beautiful holiday. Thank you for watching. Bye. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Salem Congregational United Church of Christ, where we like to say you were welcome long before you arrived. And that is true. So thank you for being here. There are certain times that, uh, that you just sort of get a chance to breathe in the spirit around you, and it happens a lot in this space, as I'm sure it does in many others, but in this space in particular. And so we had an idea a little while ago about doing something that acknowledged that this space within the community shares space, and we, we share community, and we share all sorts of things, including this season, that for many of us has shadows and lights, as well as all different kinds of little twists and turns, but nonetheless, we still do it. We still are here within community. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's much better to be together. And that was the idea, that we're part of this community, we share this community, and something happens when we are in this space and other spaces together. So we contacted some very special people, and we said, would you? And they said yes. And so it is my very great honor and pleasure to introduce my friend, and a person with an amazing gift because of her spirit to bring us into the spirit together, Marie Ann Marangolo.
Wow, what a fabulous audience you have. Thank you. Now, when I was a kid, Christmas came to our house before any other house in the neighborhood. I think we were the only house that this happened to. I really, I don't know how my parents, I mean Santa, I don't know how Santa pulled it off. But, um, you know, I remember telling the kids in the neighborhood, oh, you don't believe me? I got the Polaroids to prove it. I actually couldn't wait to go to sleep on uh, December 23rd, knowing I was waking up because there were presents that were going to be opened on the morning of uh, December 24th. I'll explain. I grew up on Long Island, on this island here. <laughs> Is anyone here from, uh, I know you're here from Long Island, but any other town from Sayville? Oh yeah, oh yeah, what eggs is? <laughs> so anyway, so I grew up in Moore, which is like 63, I feel like, just so you can you know, get a visual. Um, and um, so I grew up in, in my house in Moore with my, my parents, my brother and sister, and, um, and they're here tonight. So my mom and dad, hi, John. <laughs> and um, the rest of our relatives lived in Brooklyn. So, um, anyone, anybody here from Brooklyn? What stoop? No, no. Okay, sounds good. Oh, I don't know that one, but I remember playing on the stoop myself. Another one over there. Okay, great. A lot of people from Brooklyn. Thank you for traveling all this way. Where? Jamaica. Jamaica. Even further. Wow, okay, amazing. <laughs> Jamaica, Queens. Gotcha. Okay, so anyway, so back to the stoop. Um, my parents would uh, have presents for us because uh, we had to uh, drive to Brooklyn because we wanted to celebrate with the rest of our family, my grandparents, my aunts and uncles and um, cousins, right? So they weren't able to, um, to bring all the presents in the car. So what they did was create a really wonderful tradition for their children, which was opening the presents on Christmas Eve morning. Um, which is really beautiful when I think about it today, so thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs>
in my living room. <laughs>
I really can't stay. Maria has called us. <laughs> but Doyle, I've got to go away. You know that it's cold outside. The evening has been, been so driving. very nice. I'll hold your hands there just like I My saw. mother will start to worry. Beautiful what you're hurting. And father will be pacing the floor. Listen to the fireplace. So floor. really, I better scurry. Beautiful, please don't hurry. Well, maybe just a half a drink more. Put some records on while I pour. The neighbors might think. We had it's bad out there. Say, what's in this dream? There's no cabs to be had out there. I wish I knew how to break the spell. I'll take your hat, your hair looks so I ought to say no, 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 sir. At least I'm going to say that I tried. What's the use in her I really can't stay. Beautiful. Song. 
day you walk on water Mary, did you know that your baby boy can see my sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon Jewish and our house is living proof. Menorah in the living room. 
So a friend of mine wrote this next song, and uh, she happens to be Italian, she's not Jewish, but she wrote this song uh, about Hanukkah, and honoring Hanukkah. She was so moved and touched by this story, which is really one of the greatest stories ever, ever told about faith, and really translates into any religion or spirituality. Um, so I think faith is something we need even more now than ever. Amen. 
Chill, I 
And we got to talking and we had a really nice conversation and I said, you don't happen to have a Christmas song, do you? And she's like, actually I do, and she sent it to me. And um, so I asked her, I said, what, what can I say about this song? And she's like, well, it's about the presence. It's about being present for each other and taking in that moment because this is the only moment that we have with each other. So if you could take that with you, I leave this beautiful sentiment with you and this beautiful song. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Of my dad. 